Okay, this video is going to show you a few things. It's going to show you how to create a progress bar at the bottom of your screen, how to do something on your screen when the page loads up, and how to um, check like if their score is something, do something else. So it's going to take care of three things all at once here. So in my home screen, I'm going to put a row in there because the row is going to allow me to make things position the way I want. So I'm going to throw a row. If I can grab it, there we go. I'm going to throw a row. And inside of my row, I'm going to do a couple of things because I want my, my um, progress bar to be on the bottom left and work my way across. So down here where it says horizontal alignment, that's left and right. I want it to be on the left and the vertical alignment. I would like my everything to be on the bottom, right? So if I throw a label in here now, that's going to put it on the bottom left. Okay. I'm going to create a new name for my label. This is going to be my progress bar. I'm not going to put any text in it for right now, which means now it's kind of disappeared. It's just a dot. So we're going to have to just make sure we're thinking about things. I want my progress bar to have a color. I'm thinking like, like an orangish or something, whatever. It doesn't matter what color it is. So as long as it's visible, that one's horrible. Okay. So there's that. Um, I want the height of my progress bar to be a fixed size. I want it to be like 20 pixels tall and you can kind of see it down here. And I would like the width of it to not fit the contents because I have no content. I want it to fill the entire container. In other words, I want it to go all the way across the screen. I'm going to change my absolute height here. I want to make it 30, make it a little bit thicker, easier to see. All right. So we've got our progress bar. That's what it will look like when you're, when they've reached the progress that they, that they want to do that in this, I'm just going to put a button that they're going to click that will grow the progress. I want my button to be not in the row, but above the row. So I want it to be at the top. This is my progress button. I want this, you can say whatever you want. Oops. And I'm not going to worry about color right now. Okay. So far, so good. I think we have enough here to get to what we want. Notice I made a windscreen so that when we reach this progress, like when it reaches the edge, then we'll know that they've won and we'll go to a new screen. Okay. So first things first, this is going to take care of like when the screen loads, what do you want to happen? And in my case, when the screen loads, I'm going to set a variable to be zero. And my variable is going to be how wide the progress bar is. So if you click on your home screen, when the screen opens, we want stuff to happen. And what do we want to happen is up to you. You can change the background color. You can change the labels in a text. You can make a label visible if it was invisible before or make it invisible if you want it to not be seen. I mean, there's so many choices. So if I look at my progress bar, I can do all of these things when the screen loads. So I can change the text. I can change the height. I can make it visible or not. So if I make visible false, that means that label will disappear. But right now it doesn't matter because I'll show you what we're going to do. So for us, what we're going to do is create a variable. I'm going to initialize that. Let me create a little space. And I'm going to call this progress width because this is going to tell me how wide is that progress bar. Right now it's all the way across the screen, but when the page loads, I want it to be zero. So my math is zero. When the screen loads, I want the width of that label to be zero. So I'm going to go into my label. I'm going to find the width. So I'm going to set the width to be this variable progress width, because we start out with the progress width 
being zero. Okay, now when we come back in here to when they click the button, so on our progress button, when they click the button, in my case, because that's what I'm doing, yours will be when they answer a question right, we're going to add on to the width of your progress bar. Okay, so we're going to take this variable and say we're going to change the value of it, kind of like when you're adding a score, and we're going to do some math. We're going to say take the width of the progress bar that it was before, and then add on whatever width you want. You can just say 10 for right now. So once that's once you've made that addition, we need to change the width of the bar. So down here, actually, let's just make this easier. If I right click on this, I can duplicate it. And I can set the width. Okay, so first time through it's zero. When they click the button, it changes it to 10. So now the width will be 10. Next time they click the button, it adds 10 more on, so now it'll be 20, so it'll change the width to 20, and so on. So let's go try it and make sure it works like we want it to. So there's our, we have no progress yet, but if I click the progress bar, adding on progress, adding on progress. Okay, so now let's go figure out like what to do once they've reached once they've won. So if they win, so we're going to check that here. We're going to put a little if block in here. We're going to say if, oops, I always drag it down, drag it to the side. If this width is as wide as the screen, and I don't know, I'm not going to do that math, you can. So I need an, a little equal sign saying if this variable, the width, is equal to, I don't even know, I'm just going to say 70 for right now. You'll have to just play around with it and see what works. So if we reach a width of 70, that means they've, they've gotten the progress that they need, and now we can go to the win screen. Okay, let's try it. So I should be able to hit the button seven times, because that would give me a width of 70. And it should go to the to the windscreen. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it did. Went to the home screen or the windscreen. So obviously 70 is not wide enough. Or you might want to change your blocks. So you're not only adding on 10, because 10 is a pretty small increment. But there you go. There's your progress bar. There's what to do if your score is such and such. And this is what you can do when the screen opens. You can do all kinds of things with what you've got there. Next video coming up.